Jay Drone here. This is Skyriders Condor Pro Wi-Fi Edition. Um, the camera on the bottom you can control from the controller. You can tilt it up, you can tilt it down, you can make it uh, rotate left, you can make it rotate right. This is an altitude hold drone. It is not paired with GPS, so with any type of wind, it's kind of a useless function unless you're really, really good with uh, looking up, looking down, and controlling. And I. I don't think it's a good feature on a drone that uh, is not paired with GPS. It's a neat feature, but as far as usability, you're probably not going to use it too often. I was asked to fly this. One of my Drone Days members, and you're asking me what's Drone Days, um, click on the link down below. Drone Days is a Facebook group where we all go back and forth, we talk about drones, we compare drones, have little pissing contests, and uh, just share the love for flight. One of the members in there asked me to fly this at full full rate, the full speed, the third speed level, and that's what I'm doing. You can see the nose pitches downwards ridiculously in this third speed setting. So you're going to want to be up a little bit higher in altitude than I was to start right about here should be good but just keep an eye on that nose if you're tipping downwards because the altitude is not going to hold it's going to go downwards altitude will hold if it's straight like that as you can as you can see the front profile coming towards us with that little light that kind of resembles the dm 007 dm 007's front um but more or less a skinnier profile and a pointed profile this has a very aggressive look to it it is a larger drone with the prop guards on it it's an extremely large drone uh, it also has weight to it this isn't just a plastic shell with some guts in it this is a heavy drone uh, the propellers are longer than anything that I have and flight times again I haven't flown this too much because the battery is a little bit different than other stuff that I have like the Tarantula X6 smushed and stretched out compared to the X6's which is kind of bulkier and a little bit uh less stretched if that makes sense um, so I haven't had this in the air that often but I can tell you it's night and day from anything that I have um, the yaw rate on it's very slow if you're gonna make tight corners you're gonna have to do it pitching left and pitching right while you're pitching forward and trying to counter that way because you're not gonna be able to count on this yawing fast to do sharp turns. It just doesn't have a fast yaw and that's probably because they anticipated uh, people using this as a camera drone because of the camera that it's equipped with and the camera it does have is a very nice camera but again it's Wi-Fi and I don't have a device hooked up. I'm just showing you the flyability of this in the full rate speed. If you're looking for a large drone, you're looking for something most people don't have this might be the way to go um, you are gonna pay for it I think anywhere from a hundred to hundred and sixty dollars you can get this I paid about 160 in a music store <laughs> uh, music store in a mall had this seen it and I thought 160 for something that large yeah I'm gonna grab it um, and I'm happy I grabbed it it's a good drone very cool it glows at night, has lots of lights uh, up through the body, down through the body, so for orientation at night. And there's your left to right pitching. I am in your third speed here, just to give you an idea of how it pitches. I do have like a five to six mile an hour wind that's not phasing this. And in, uh, in this third speed, it's not really doing anything. I am having to counter against it just a little to keep it in position. But if there was no wind, this would pretty much stay where I have it. It wouldn't drift too much as long as it was trimmed out properly. Very cool drone, though. There's another look at it, almost chopping off my head. Um, that's another thing. Be careful with these blades. I believe they do have a stop. Like if something gets obstructed in it for like one to two seconds, the blades will stop. But if your finger gets in between the blades while they're spinning it's not going to stop immediately it's going to take a second or two to stop and you could cut your finger um, these are larger motors they're larger blades so just be careful very cool drone to have um, like I said it's the largest one I have it's I have an arsenal of drones you guys know and if you don't know click on the rest of my channel and go watch some videos I have a lot of drones and this one I'm happy to have in my arsenal despite the fact that I haven't flown it much. Really haven't taken this up to peak altitude either just because uh, again 
haven't flown it much. I need to get extra batteries for these, and I need to find batteries for these, and then get like three or four charged up, and then I could do like a video test, I could do a flyability test, I could do a range test on it, but uh, for now, we're just doing exactly what somebody had asked me to do, flying it in that third speed level. And there's a good look at the drone right there, really cool looking drone. Again, Drone Days Facebook, click on the link, this is trying to auto land and I'm tipping backwards, which it shouldn't, and it stopped and we're not chewing up grass here because of that feature I told you about. Uh, and I'm JDrone, if you haven't subscribed please do. There is a toggle on the bottom of this, we're going to go ahead and turn that off. And take care and have a wonderful day.